Texas A&M fans should be very excited after some lackluster offenses for the last few years under Jimbo Fisher. Now the Aggies are all set to have some excitement, a little bit of a new flavor there. Of course, Mike Elko has come aboard, but he's brought on Colin Klein as the offensive coordinator from Kansas State. An extremely underrated hire, in my opinion, because Colin Klein did nothing but help to develop Kansas State's offense tremendously, even when losing some tremendous playmakers to the NFL and and things of that nature. So I'm telling you, I think this is going to be a great hire for Texas A&M and for Mike Elko as they enter this new era down in Kyle Field, the 12th man, get some excitement in that offense, give those that great home field advantage, something to stand up and cheer for, guys, because they've got the playmakers to do it. Uh, they've got the trigger man in Connor Wigman with him coming back and, and knock on wood being healthy this year for Texas A&M. So, and now I think they've got the scheme to match it, and we're going to dive into that today, go in-depth about it. But, guys, before we do that, Right after this, I promise we're going to get to the film breakdown, so stick around for this. But we do want to mention our friends over at mybookie.ag, guys. As we record this, March Madness is right around the corner. And college basketball, guys, ups and downs. Is your team in the tournament? Are they on the bubble? Are they trying to make their way to being in the conversation for the bubble? Are they just trying to – make a run and win a conference championship to get that auto bid. Whatever it is, you can make it even more interesting by betting on literally anything, the lines, the props, all that kind of stuff over at mybookie.ag. As you've all heard the name out there, mybookie, they're the industry's leading online sports book and casino, and it's not hard to understand why. They have thousands of lines that you can place your bets on and all your favorite sports guys you got the nba going on like i said college balls going mma soccer whatever it is you can find it at mybookie.ag take advantage of my bookies prop builder and live in-game betting where every single run throw when it's baseball touchdown basket whatever it is in the sport can help put cash into your pocket. Visit their mobile friendly website today, mybookie.ag. You can get up to halfway to a thousand dollars matched on your first deposit, guys, by using the promo code SECU. So make your first deposit today. Lots of different ways to do that. And guys, whether you're on the go or you just have a laptop or your phone, you can use mybookie.ag. Bet win and get paid at my bookie okay guys now it's time to dive in and i've got some clips here a film breakdown of what i want you to see and what you can expect out of colin klein's offense when he gets to aggie land one of the things that i think texas a&m fans are going to enjoy the most about colin klein and his play calling and his play design is some of the creativity in the run game Texas A&M could use a little bit better run game than they've had as of late under Jimbo Fisher. So now you're going to see Colin Klein do his best to bring that. And here you see a lot of different things at play. Let's let the tape roll here. This is backed up against Texas. You're going to see this fly motion that they use a lot from outside receiver. Uh, and when they have that fly motion, what it's going to do is it is going to create a situation where those linebackers are frozen there for a second and now they have this trap wham concept okay so you've got right here they're allowing these two defensive tackles to run up field they're gonna go to linebacker level right here with the center they're gonna arc release out around and then kind of fold outside fold block it they're gonna have right here the the left guard pull for this defensive tackle and then this h back coming wham on the inside and it's also a little delay action with the running back because it takes a little bit longer to develop so as that goes right there you see give the running back room to make space to uh, space to make a play and it turns out good for kansas state here now on this play you got just counter gap scheme uh but the problem here was that uh-oh, we had our 
tackle fall down. We had our center get beat across its face. We had our H back allow leakage inside. But luckily for Kansas State and for Colin Klein's team, they were well coached and they understood, hey, this could hit actually backside A gap if we, you know, if we do the concept right and they overplay it a little bit. Running back keeps his shoulders square, sees daylight, and cuts it and makes a nice gain on the backside. So Colin Klein says, hey, uh, this is the very next play. He's like, hey, we had that, you know, where we could have we could have blocked that a whole lot better, and let's, let's run it again. Let's do it again. Well, now you see two tight ends in here, not just an H-back. You see two tight ends in here, 12 personnel, and they're going to say, okay, we're going to go down, 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 get everybody blocking down, and we're going to try to block this counter up a little bit better. So they're going to pull on the backside, and now here you see you got a good wash down here, at least a stalemate with the center blocking back here. Really good job, and this running back now sees, oh, we got this blocked up good. He stays front side this time. So same play, just blocked up a little bit better. That's trusting the system right there and knowing how to operate within it. Now you would see this alignment and say, hey, this looks like a, a running formation, particularly with what they've done earlier. This was the same formation they just ran the counter out of. So, you know, they run a lot of split zone and lead zone and all that kind of stuff out of this type of formation. So now they're going to see this and say, okay, where are, what are we going to do here? Um, if you're Texas, how, how is this going to, how are we going to defend this? Um, do we need to bring this guy, this overhang player into the box a little bit, this whole player? So let it run here, and he's really the critical component here because you see Will Howard, his eyes were directly on this guy. This guy's wrong no matter what he does. If he doesn't come in and be an extra defender in the box, then they're going to feel like they got numbers in the run game. If he drops out, you know, then they're going to run that football. If he closes down or, or freezes, comes down just a little bit, he's going to take this right here, which is exactly – what Will Howard does, sees him come down, replaces him with the ball, and allows this guy to make a play. Now another scenario, this is about getting matchups, okay? They loved these tight ends, particularly 34 here, really talented guy for Kansas State last year. So how can we get our best players in our best matchups? Well, let's go. Let's go empty and let's see how they adjust. What they had to do was now we got trips to the field. So they're taking these backers and bumping him totally out of the box and bumping him from over there where, where he could more easily get to the perimeter. Now he's going to have to bump to the middle of the field right over the center. And when that happens, they're able to drop back to get a little bit of a Two guys coming over, a rat killer deal going on, and a nice screen play for a big matchup. Great matchup for Kansas State and a big play. <clears throat> Same thing here. Let's get a nice matchup. Fly motion again. They really, really like this. Okay, they like doing it and bringing them in here to create different leverages and then running pass concepts across the field or getting outs off of it. But right here, they also like running all the way across because they'll give the jet sweep. They'll they'll uh, get some misdirection going, with, as we saw earlier, with the, the trap wham. And then sometimes they just want to get matchups over here on the backside. And that's what they end up doing here. You see the rotation of the defensive backs, and now you got one-on-one -on -one down here on the bottom. Will Howard knows he's got a guy down there that can win. He lets it go. Nice play here for Kansas State and for Colin Klein and company. Now, this is about knowing tendencies. You know you're facing a Dave Doran team that's aggressive, uh, that likes to bring pressure, that is physical. So they're playing cover zero here. You see everybody matched up. You see these three guys taking care of these guys in the triangle, and you see pressure. Everybody's coming. Well, that means this back right here is not going to be covered. And a lot of times they'll say, okay, well, they're going to have to try to use that back to pick them up. Or we just run the back down the field and tell the quarterback to drift, give ground, and now nobody's got him because they brought pressure. Touchdown. So knowing your team that you're playing against as well.
Guys, I hope you enjoyed that film breakdown. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. We would greatly appreciate that for when we go live. You'll want to hear that. Listen, SEC Unfiltered, guys, it is the best SEC entity on the Internet. I'm Blaine Gilmer. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys next time to talk more Texas A&M, more SEC, and more college football right here on SEC Unfiltered.